Scarletites yet to come out on the floor for the Raging Cajuns. They are clad as the eighth seed in the home white with red trim. And Scarletites will be in their road red scarlet with black and white trim. Knights will go from our right to left as Dan Gay gets set to jump it up with Roy Hinson, who of course will not step into the circle until just about ready to start the game. And now he steps in. Gay and Hinson, tap is controlled by Brian Ellerby. Brings it across and the Scarlet Knights have the first crack. Goes to Brunson, no shot clock, no three point line, just straight basketball. Black, bounce pass for Ellerby. Sends way outside for Rich Brunson. Right side, Tillman, now into the corner comes Kevin Black, outside for Rich Brunson. Down low, Hinson in the lane, spins, lays it up. Around and out, rebound comes down to Black. He has it off the floor, stolen away by Gay. He gives it off to Collins. The middle point guard will bring it across. Collins dribbles with the left hand, up very high. Goes left corner for Gay. 20 foot jumper, long. Rebound comes off to Clarence Tillman. Ahead for Black, one on one with Collins. Lays it up, foul, and we have a traveling violation as the basket will not go. And Scarlet Knights first turnover. Southwestern Louisiana has come out 1-3-1 one, one, trap defense, a lot like you see the Scarlet Knights use, and they're going to try and shut down Roy Hinson inside. So Al Mones will bring it across with Collins as the Knights employ semi-trap pressure in the backcourt. Now Ellerby and Black fall off as Collins sets it up. 19.05 remaining in the half. Goes right side Al Mones. Now here's Collins. Dribbles around. Now goes left corner to Gay. Back outside Collins, top of the key. And now he brings it deliberately around the other side. This is supposed to be a running team. Goes right corner, Al Mones. Back outside for Collins. Comes around the perimeter with the dribble. Now it goes back outside. Al Mones jumper. Won't go. Rebound comes off. Roy Hinson. Out to Brunson. Knights look to push it across. Brunson, corner for Ellerby. Back outside for Rich. Now to Tillman. Left side jumper. Won't go. Rebound comes off to Dan Gay. Gives it off for Collins and he pushes it down court. One on three and he'll pull back. Very deliberate once again, Bob. Southwestern Louisiana is not getting down the court fast enough. Scarlet Knights getting back playing good zone defense. Collins to Gay. Now here's Warner underneath. Has the ball taken off by Hinson. We have a jump ball. It will be the other way. Scarlet Knights tying them up there and doing a good job so far on defense. That's what it's going to be. It looks like it might be a defensive struggle. Set to trigger will be Warner, gets it in. Now here's Collins, top of the key, drives right side. Now bounce pass to Al Mones in the right corner. Back outside for Collins. Al Mones stops, pulls in the lane, lays it up and in. First two points of the tournament. Just under 18 minutes left to go in the half. USL up by two, nothing. Here's Ellerby, far corner, out to Brunson. Now Tillman, top of the key, in the lane for Hinton. Spins, lays it up, short, rebound comes off to Gay. Check that Warner, and he gets it out to Collins. At the foul line, drives in the lane, lays it up. No good, rebound comes off to Collins. Now stops, pulls up, and dishes outside for Al Mones. Down low, Brown, but we have a foul, and it will be on Kevin Black. First foul on Kevin Black. Scarlet Knights having trouble on the offensive boards, getting just one shot each time down. Looks like uh, the Raging Cajuns are going to be deliberate and just work for a good shot today. Going to the line. They will not send him to the line. That was on the shot, but they say no. So Almonds triggers, gets it in. Here's Collins. Far side. Bounce pass to Almonds in the corner. Back outside Collins. And he walked with the ball. First turnover for the Raging Cajuns, each team with one. And the Scarlet Knights have not gotten on the board. We played two and a half minutes. They're, gonna, they're looking maybe a little bit too much inside to Roy Hinton, who's being triple teamed every time he gets the ball. 2 nothing. Raging Cajuns lead. Here's Ellerby. Goes outside. Brunson. Now Tillman. Down low. Hinton jabs it home. Roy Hinton. Two points. We're tied. And now the Knights press in the backcourt. Al Mones has trouble. Now Collins brings it across. Fakes out Brunson, and he brings it into the forecourt. Collins. Left side. Goes corner for Warner. Back outside Collins. Drives. Loses the handle. And Al Mones takes the loose ball away. Now back to Collins. Now here's Al Mones. Baseline. 15 foot jumper. Short. Rebound. Batted around. Taken off by Brown. Outside Collins. And we have a very deliberate offense as he moves it all the way out to half court. Collins. Left corner for Warner. Back outside for Collins. High above head. Cross court Warner. 18 foot jumper. Got it. First two for Warner, four to two. Cajuns on top, Black quickly into the forecourt. 
Cross court for Tillman. He's about 25 feet out. Goes to Brunson, closer to half court. He calls out a set play. 2-1-2 two -two defense. Tillman from 15. Got it! Clarence Tillman has his first two work tied at four. 16 and minutes and 10 seconds left to go in the half. Al Moans pressured again. Gets it to Collins, who brings it across the timeline. Here's Al Moans near side. Bounce pass, right corner for Brown. Down low, too far, out of bounds. Let's see. Cajun basketball, little discrepancy between the officials. Kicked off the foot of Roy Hinson, so we'll be Louisiana, Southern Louisiana ball. Al Moans triggers, goes outside for Warner. Now here's Collins, puts the moves on, stops. We have a travel. Second time he's done that, and second turnover against the Raging Cajuns. And the Scarlet Knights are going to look to cause a lot of turnovers, I think, here. They've shown a little bit of a press every time they scored. They want to try and force some turnovers. 2-1-2 two, two zone once again for the Cajuns. Brunson near corner for Black. Goes outside to Ellerby. Cross court, Tillman. Down low for Black. Spins in the lane. Loses the handle out of bounds, but we have a foul. And I think it will be on Waylon, Graylin Warner. First on him. First team foul for Southwestern Louisiana. Deion Brown, is Deion Brown gets called for it. First on the and Kevin will go to the line on the season shooting 75% from the charity stripe. Eyes the basket, first shot up, around and out. We're still tied at four, 15-43 remaining in the half. Uncharacteristic for Kevin to be a poor foul shooter, of course. The Temple game missed a lot of clutch free throws down the stretch. He's got to get on track. Second one around it out, but rebound comes off to Ellerby, and he loses the handle, but we have a foul, and it will go on Brown. Second personal on Brown in a matter of five seconds. And Brown is probably the all-around best player on Southwestern Louisiana's team. He's their le second leading scorer, second leading rebounder. If he gets in foul trouble, USL is not a very deep team. That could hurt, the, hurt their chances. Brunson's a trigger on the baseline. Looks, he gets Tillman, 18-foot jumper. Around it out, rebound comes off to Gay. Ahead for Collins into the forecourt. Three on two, Collins drives, stops, pops. Won't drop, rebound comes off to Hinson. Roy comes down strong, gets it off to Ellerby. Brian into the forecourt on the far side, goes to Brunson, far corner, back outside for Brian Ellerby. Passes to Tillman, cross court for Brunson. Now down low, Hinson on the baseline, brings it back out to Rich Brunson. Calls out the set play. Still two on two zone, black. Outside to Ellerby now, here's Brunson. To Ellerby, 20 footer, got it! Ryan Ellerby has two. Six to two, Rutgers on top for the first time in this game. Just under 15 minutes left to go in the half. Collins guarded by Ellerby. Now Black comes out to help, and he gets away from the pressure. Goes to Al Moans, pulls up, 18 foot jumper, got it! Hot shooting for both teams, we're tied at six. Into the forecourt come the Scarlet Knights. Tillman at the foul line, drives the lane, lays it up. Short, gets his own rebound, up, no good, tapped around, rebound comes off the floor to Roy Henson, saves it over the table, and Roy cannot keep the ball in bounds. Ball Knights not, not doing as good a job on the boards as they should be right now. And we have a timeout on the floor. We're tied at six with 14.34 remaining in the first half. And let's set the lineups for you. Cajuns remain the same with Al Moans and Collins in the backcourt. Brown, Warner, and Gay up front. Knights come out with their starting lineup of Brunson and Ellerby in the backcourt. Black, Tillman, and Hinton up front. Warner goes outside to Collins in the forecourt as we resume. To Al Moans. Dribbles right side. Knights in a 2-3 zone. Jumper for Warner. He's got it. 8-6. to six, USL out on top. Just over 14 minutes left to go in the half. Tillman, top of the key. Bounce pass for Brunson. Goes right corner to Ellerby. Back outside for Rich. Slow offense for the Scarlet Knights this time. Black, cross court for Tillman. Down low, Hinton, underneath, slams it home! Four points for Roy Hinton on the reverse dunk. We're tied at eight. Good ball movement by the Scarlet Knights. Second time, Clarence Tillman has dished it inside the Roy for a basket. Collins, guarded by Ellerby, cannot get it across. Now Al Moans can. Goes back to Collins, far sideline. To Warner, now Collins. Here's Al Moans, top of the key jumper, has got it. 10 to 8, six points now for Al Moans as USL back out on top. Brunson, bounce pass to Ellerby, back to Rich. Now Tillman, top of the key. Dishes off for Rich Brunson, dribbles with the left hand towards the near sideline. They still match up in a 2-1-2. Here's Ellerby, back to Brunson, top of the key. Swings it for Bryan, 20-foot jumper, short. Rebound comes off Al Moans. 
Cajuns look to run and cannot as the Knights get back very quickly on defense. Collins into the forecourt to Almond's right side. 1-2-2 two, two defense for the Scarlet Knights. Almond's fakes, now goes to Collins. Cross court, now into the corner for Warner. Down low gate, pass is knocked around. Push on Brian Ellerby. First foul on the Scarlet, on Brian Ellerby. Second team foul for the Scarlet Knights. Roy Hinson's gonna check out, now limps a little bit off the court. He might be hurting a little bit. And Chris Nieberlein's gonna come in and replace him. Roy sits down with four points on two dunks. Al Mones will trigger. He gets it way out towards midcourt for Collins. 1-2-2 two, two zone once again for Rutgers. Collins just dribbles around the perimeter. Just under 13 minutes left to go in the half. Here is Warner. 10-footer around and out. Rebound comes off to Clarence. We have a whistle underneath. And a foul, I believe, on Chris Nieberlein. They're going to call it on somebody for throwing an elbow. And we'll see who it is. It's either Tillman or Nieberlein. But John Battle's going to get in for the Scarlet Knights, replacing Brunson. And he's going to come in for some offense. Goes on Clarence Tillman as he pulled down that rebound. Third team foul, first personal. Collins, top of the key with the dribble. 1-2-2 two, two zone as Ellerby now takes the point. Here is Almonds. Into the corner for Warner. Back outside Almonds. Fakes, drives. Now back to Warner. Down low gaze. Spins, but we have a foul on Kevin Black. That's his second personal. And the Scarlet Knights starting to pick up a couple of fouls here. I think they're trying to be a little bit over, over cautious or something underneath the basket. Without Roy Hinson in there, they're going to have to work a little bit harder to control the boards. Look USL, a good rebounding team. Looks for Chris Remley to get off the bench in a moment. Here is Warner outside, goes to Collins. Now left corner, Al Mones. Back to Collins, to Warner. Drives to the baseline and comes back outside for Collins. 5'10 point guard, Collins. Goes into the far corner for Warner. Outside Al Mones, he's double teamed. Drives, stops, pulls up, no good. Rebound off the floor, Nibali cannot save it. And it will be Southwestern Louisiana basketball. They've had the ball down that end for quite some time now. Scarlet Knights just can't get a rebound. 10 to 8, USL on top. Collins off the inbounds, top of the key. They do this just about every time. They go left corner to Almonds, back to Collins, swing it for Warner, drive to the baseline, stops, pops, and hits, and a foul. Clarence Tillman picks up his second personal. That will be the fifth Rutgers team foul, 12 to 8, and they can attempt a three-point play now as Warner will go to the line. Remley comes in for Tillman. Warner, an 82% free throw shooter lead leading this raging Cajun team. Clarence Tillman with the foul. They're going to get Roy Hinson right back in there. Got a little tape on his ankle or something, it appeared. Kevin Black is going to check out. So now the Scarlet Knights will be going for some rebounding with both Nieberlein and Hinson in there. They've got to start doing something on the boards. So the Knights go with Nieberlein, Hinson, and Remley up front. Ellerby and Battle in the backcourt. The shot by Warner is no good. And Nieberlein comes down with the carom. Ellerby. To Remley, top of the key, puts it on the floor, goes back to Bryant, and he brings it way outside. Goes to Nibelein in the near corner, and he sends outside for Battle. Now Ellerby passes to Battle in the corner, looks for a shot, cannot find one, goes back outside for Brian Ellerby. Brian to Battle, top of the key, deliberate now. Remley, far side, swings it for Nibelein into the corner, sends outside for John Battle. Now Ellerby pulls up to the foul line and pulls it back outside, goes to Battle. Knights running time off the clock. Ellerby to Remley in the corner. Back outside to battle. Now Ellerby, here is Nieberlein, loses the handle and regains to battle. Foul line, jumper, goes down low for Nieberlein, is it up and in? Great pass, looked like a shot, but he got it to Nieberlein, cuts the raging Cajun lead to two, 12 to 10, 11 minutes left to go in the half. Al Mones and Collins work it across. Cannot get through, now he does. Ahead of Remley, and now he'll just slow the ball up. Top of the key, goes right side, Almonds. Cross court for Warner. Back to Collins for Almonds, right side. Drives around, now for Collins. Top of the key. Bounce pass, left side for Warner. Water by Remley, down low for Brown, lays it up and in. Knight just got beaten on the back door on that play. Quickly the other way comes John Battle, and he holds up. Remley from the top of the key, got it! Chris Remley first two, 14 to 12. Just under 10 and a half minutes left to go in the half. That's a big key for Chris Remley to hit his first jumper. Coming off a good seven out of eight performance against Temple in the Atlantic 10 championship game. Here's Warner in the corner, in the lane for Gay. Spins, loses the handle off the ground. Floor, 
Rutgers basketball out of bounds. And Rich Brunson's going to get back in the lineup for Brian Ellaby right here. So the Scarlet Knights now have drawn to within two. They seem to be getting a little bit tougher on the boards and looking for good passes inside as Nieberlein took that pass to before from battle. Scarlet Knights are looking to dish off when they get caught without a shot. Ten, minute, <coughs> ten minutes exactly left to go in the half. 14 to 12, Southwestern Louisiana leads. Here's Battle right side, pulls up from 10. Got it! John Battle, great John shot. Battle. We're tied at 14. <coughs> Here's Collins into the forecourt. Goes to Warner, pass batted around, taken off by Al Mowens, 18 foot jumper, off the back of the rim, rebound, comes off to Warner, but we have a foul on Chris Remley. That's gonna be the first foul on Remley, and for the Scarlet Knights, their 16th foul, with the next one, check that the foul is on Roy Hinson, and with the next foul, the Scarlet Knights will be over the limit, so it will be 16 fouls on the Scarlet Knights now, with the next one, it'll be one and one for USL. And we have a timeout on the floor. With the score tied at 14, 938 remaining in the first half. Let's take this break for a message from the NCAA. It will be a Southwestern Louisiana basketball off the timeout. There was the foul on Hinson as we resume play. And it will be Brown to trigger under the basket. Sends way outside for Collins. And they set up 1-2-2 two, two zone. Brunson comes back out for Ellerby. Here's Collins, goes to Almonds, back outside to Collins. Almonds right corner, cross court for Warner, back to Collins, top of the key, swings it for Almonds, fakes, down low for Brown, spins, lays it up, and in. 16, 14, just over nine minutes left to go in the half. Nieberlein, ahead for battle into the corner, sends outside for Rich Brunson, he'll set it up. Still a 2-1-2 zone for the Cajuns. Battle to Brunson, top of the key. In the lane for Hinson, puts it up and in. Gets the friend, friendly roll, six points for Roy. Tied at 16, just under nine minutes and a half. Collins into the forecourt. One, two, two zone once again by the, one, three, one rather this time by the Scarlet Knights. Almonds outside to Collins. Cross court for Warner. Down low Brown, turnaround jumper, yes. 18-16 USL out on top now, six points for Brown. Battle, 10-footer rolls in. Great shot by Battle, another friendly roll for the Scarlet Knights, we're tied at 18. Collins, guarded by Battle as he takes the point. Collins, cross court for Warner, looks down low, now he comes all the way across to Almonds. 10-foot jumper, no good, but we have a foul, I believe, on Chris Nieberlein. And for Chris Nieberlein, that will be his first personal foul. 17 foul on the Scarlet Knights, so it'll be one and one now for Southwestern Louisiana. George Almonds goes to the line. He's hit 77% on the season. And he will be shooting the one and one. First shot is up, around and out. And you are listening to the first round of the NCAA Eastern Regionals on WRSU-FM, New Brunswick. Second shot is good. So 19-18, one point lead, pressure in the backcourt, Nieberlein ahead to Remley, and Brunson brings it across. Three on one if they hurry, but they cannot. And Brunson has to pull out. Goes to Remley right corner, back outside, John Battle. Now Brunson top of the key to Nieberlein. Still a, a two three zone this time by the Cajuns. Battle, swings for Nieberlein right side. Comes to Brunson in the near side now, into the far corner for Remley, fakes, pulls up, finds no outlet, now has Nieberlein in the corner, outside for battle, Knights hold. Brunson top of the key to Remley, near sideline, puts it on the floor to Nieberlein, back outside for Rich Brunson, now battle top of the key to Remley, 18 foot jumper, short, gets his own rebound, in the lane, pulls up, won't go, but we have a foul, traveling on the whistle, so Remley, Turns the ball over, second time the Knights do that tonight. And one point lead for Southwestern Louisiana, 19-18, 7.23 remaining, they now have the ball. Almonds and Collins in the backcourt, they better hurry. And Collins gets it across the timeline, comes all the way down. Dribbles with the left hand, guarded by Brunson. Goes to Warner, 20 footer, around and out, rebound. Gay lays it up and in, hook shot is good by Gay. 21-18, three point lead. 
Brunson into the forecourt to battle. Back outside for Rich. He pulls it out. Calls for battle. Now goes to Nibeline. To battle. Now Brunson, top of the key. To Remley, down low Nibeline. On the baseline, has no outlet. Sends way outside to John Battle. Into the corner for Remley, right side. Back to John. To Brunson, top of the key. Swings it for Nibeline. Looks down low, sends outside to Battle. Now Brunson, top of the key, pulls up. Goes to Nibeline underneath, lays it up and in. Spinning move by Chris Nibeline. He has four, 21-20, one point USL lead. Surprisingly good offensive production from Chris Nibeline. He's hit two layups, looking for a shot inside, something he has to definitely do. Al Moans across the line, brings it across, goes all the way, pulls up, fakes, puts it up, and in. 23-20, three point USL lead. Six minutes left to go in the half. Brunson into the forecourt to, Nieber, to Remley, rather. Back outside to battle. Sets it up by the right hash mark. Goes down low. And we have a foul on Roy Hinson. Offensive. Second personal on Roy. And they are over the limit. And I believe they will go down and shoot the one and one. And they called Roy Hinson for a pushing off foul. That's two on Roy. That's going to hurt. Rutgers, if Roy Hinson gets in foul trouble, Nieberline, Black, and Hinson, the starting front line, all with two fouls right now. Still just under six minutes to go in the first half. Dan Gay is going to go to the line with a 69% foul shooting percentage for Southwestern Louisiana. He has a one-on-one -on -one opportunity coming right here. Eyes the basket. First shot is up and good. Reminder, tomorrow at 12.55, tune in to the home opener for the Scarlet Knight lacrosse team against CW Post right here on WRSU where Rutgers sports begin. Second shot for Gay is also good. 25-20, 5.56 remaining in the half. Four points now for Gay. Pressure in the backcourt. Brunson, double team, sends across for Ellerby just in the game. Goes to Nibelon and he traveled with the basketball. Rutgers having a lot of trouble right now with this pressure defense from southwestern Louisiana. They, if they should be able to push the ball up court now and get some th three on one breaks, but they're just turning the ball over with some travels and just uh, missing some passes. Third turnover for Rutgers. Warner goes outside Almonds, down right side for Brown, back to Almonds. To Warner, now outside Collins, to Almonds, top of the key jumper, got it. 27 20, and Rutgers needs a timeout. No pressure this time in the backcourt. Brunson brings it across to Ellerby. Goes outside to Rich, pulls out, and the Knights just standing around on offense. Nieberlein out to Ellerby, to Brunson, top of the key, to Remley, 20-footer, got it! Chris Remley now has four, 27-22. Knights cut the lead to five. Collins into the forecourt as Black gets set to check in. Warner outside Almonds, now Collins has yet to shoot the ball, Collins. Goes to Warner, 20-foot jumper. Good. 29-22, seven-point lead now for USL. Brunson quickly into the forecourt to Remley, 25 feet out. And now Rich has it. Near the hash mark, goes to Nieberlein. Back outside for Rich, swings it for Ellerby, top of the key. Now to Remley, right side. Down low, Nieberlein, outside for Ellerby. In the lane for Hinton, spins, rejected, off by Warner up ahead for Collins, three on two, drives all the way, lays it up. Short, rebound Chris Remley, but we have a foul. Let's see who it's on. And it will be on Roy Hinson, I believe, his third personal foul. Second time he's been called for pushing off like that. And that is three personal fouls on Roy Hinson. Wait, let's check this. They do call, Roy was going down the other way. Couldn't believe the foul was on him. And that's trouble for the Scarlet Knights. 4.20 remaining in the half. And Brown, Deion Brown, will go to the line to shoot the one and one. And Clarence Stillman checks back in along with Kevin Black. And he'll go with Nibelein in the front court with Brunson and Ellerby in the back court. First shot is up and good by Brown. 30 to 22, 4.20 remaining. It's a key stretch right here for the Scarlet Knights. They're down eight. Roy Hinson is on the bench for probably the remainder of this half. They can't afford to get way down right now. One more for Brown. He makes it 31-22, and the Scarlet Knights want to talk it over. Knights will go in the forecourt with Nieberlein, Black, and Tillman, Brunson, and Ellerby in the backcourt as they bring it across down by nine. Here's Ellerby. 
looks for an outlet. Has Brunson 25 feet out to Ellerby right side. Ryan sends back for Brunson. Swings it for Tillman near sideline. Clarence has Black in the corner. Bounces it outside for Brunson. Now Ellerby goes around the other side for Clarence Tillman. Bounce pass for Black into the corner as the Cajuns stick tight on defense. 2-1-2. Tillman bounces it for Black in the near corner. Kevin outside to Rich. Now way top of the three-point circle for Ellerby. Brian to Brunson, down low for Black, underneath, spins, sends way outside to Brian Ellerby towards midcourt. Knights have now run off 50 seconds on the clock. Brunson to Ellerby, top of the key. Now Tillman, down low, Black, underneath, fakes, has foul called on the shot as he went up pretty strong. That will be on Dan Gay. And that's the first foul called against USL in quite some time. Scarlet Knights getting the ball down low to Black, and we know that when he gets the ball down low, gets called a lot. Gets a lot of fouls called against him, but he's going to have to hit his foul shots. He missed two earlier, and he's a 74% foul shooter, but he just hasn't been successful the last couple games. Kevin will try and put both of these in. First one is long. They'll have one more. Eyes the basket. Right-hander shoots it and makes it. 31-23, eight-point. USL lead, 320 remaining in the half. Collins brings it across. He's guarded by Brunson. I believe the Knights will go man to man here. Collins goes to Warner, now outside Almonds. Foul line pulls up and he walked with the ball and they call a block on Brian Ellenby. Now I believe that actually the foul is gonna go on Johnny Collins of USL illegal pick set. Good call by the referee as that would be picked that one up. Fourth team foul on the Raging Cajuns. So Knights can cut the lead down to six with 3.08 remaining in the half, 31-23. Cajuns on top, Alonzo Allen getting set to check in the game for USL. Brunson to Tillman, top of the key. Now Rich right side, passes up the open shot, swings it for Ellerby, now Black near corner. Outside for Bryan. Back to Rich. Swings it for Tillman. Now back to Brunson. Knights taking t their time. Ellerby to Tillman from 19. Got it. Clarence Tillman, 31-25 now. Six-point lead, four for Clarence Tillman. Cajuns have a six-point lead and the ball with two and a half minutes left to go in this the first half. Reminder, stay tuned at halftime. Ray Chella and the Knights Center. With the ball is Brown, guarded by Tillman. Outside for Allens. Goes now to Gay. Swings it back outside for Collins. Pass for Brown, batted out, taken off by Brown. Goes to Almonds. Dribbles it very high. Goes over to the other side for Warner. Sends it back outside Almonds. Now here's Brown, guarded by Tillman. Just under two minutes now in the half. Collins, guarded by Brunson. They're just going to hold the ball. Collins has it on the floor. Goes to Warner. Now guarded by Black. Sends outside, top of the three-point circle for Collins. Dribbles around the perimeter. Minute and a half remaining. Here is Almonds, top of the key. Dribbles to the left corner. Pulls up on the baseline. In the lane, ball stolen by Nibelheim, but we have a push away by Gay. And Knights get the ball. Right there, that was one of the best things that could have happened for Rutgers. Southwestern Louisiana came down, ran off time off the clock, which is, I think, what Tom Young wants. He's got Roy Hinson on the bench with three fouls. He's cut the lead down to six. I think he'd be happy to go into the locker room only down six right now, and now they have the ball back, a chance to cut it to four. And Allen checks in, and he comes in for Brown. Knights have the ball, minute and a half remaining. Brunson to Black. Cross court for Ellerby. Swings it again, cross court for Brunson. Now here's Nibelheim in the foul line, loses the handle, and he gets it off for Ellerby. Brunson to Black, far corner. Back to Rich. Now Bryan, top of the three-point circle. Clarence from 18, off the backboard, no good. Warner with the rebound, ahead to Allens. Almonds has the ball, drives lane, stops, pops. Will drop, but no basket. We have a foul before the shot on Chris Nibelheim. And that was a, could have been a travel. It looked like it could have gone either way, but they call it the foul on the Rut, on Rutgers' Chris Nieberlein. Or no, check that, it's gonna be on Clarence Tillman. And for Clarence, that is his third personal foul. So now the Rutgers Scarlet Knights have Tillman and Hinson with three. Tillman's gonna check out. 
Remley's in, and Tillman has been able to hit a couple of shots, and he's the kind of person that can open up the zone, but Remley's two for three today. Hopefully he can hit some shots from the outside. Almonds goes to the line, hits the first end of the one and one. He'll have one more, 32-25, 59 seconds remaining in the half. USL leads by seven. Almonds makes the second one also, 33-25, eight-point lead now. Scarlet Knights will probably hold for one shot. Brunson goes to Black in the corner, back outside Ellerby. Now Brunson, top of the key, to Remley near side, 25 feet out. Now Black, back outside for Rich. Two on two zone for USL. Remley to Ellerby. Now Brunson, 39 seconds. Brunson to Ellerby. Now swings for Remley, back to Bryan. 30 seconds, Knights will hold for one. Black in the corner, back outside for Rich, and he is standing about in midcourt. He plays catch with Ellerby, 20 seconds remaining in the half. Knights holding for one. Brian Ellerby goes to Black in the corner, 15 seconds. Now here's Ellerby, top of the key, pulls up, goes to Brunson, back outside Ellerby with eight seconds from the top of the key, around and out, rebound Black, lays it up and in. 33-27-2-1, that's the half. Long shot over everything, no good. Wouldn't have counted anyway. They've all, four of them have played the entire way. Only Deion Brown sitting out two minutes. Except for the second half, Scarlet Knights trail 33-27. And this is it, they win today or most of the careers are over for these ball players. Rich Brunson gets the inbound from Ellerby. Gives it in the corner for Kevin Black, left baseline. Give out top for Brian Ellerby, top of the circle. Brunson, foul line to Tillman, left side. Clarence, bounce pass for Kevin Black in the left corner to Rich Brunson, top of the circle. Ellerby, over to Clarence Tillman on the right side. Right baseline for Kevin Black, out top for Brian Ellerby. Top of the circle, Brunson. Swing it for Tillman, 15-foot jumper is long. Rebound is taken by Almonds. Quickly into the four quarters. He looks to run one on four, dishes it off for Brown, lays it up, no good. Rebound is off of Brian Ellerby, it will be USL basketball. And right there you saw the quickness of this team as Almonds took it coast to coast and he'll inbound. Almonds inbounds to Graylin Warner, top of the circle for Johnny Collins. Swing it over for Almonds, back to Collins. Left side for Warner. Inside and it's taken away by Clarence Tillman to Brunson who quickly brings it into the forecourt for the Scarlet Knights. Ahead for Kevin Black, left baseline. Out top it goes for Rich Brunson. Brunson outside, holds the ball, giving the corner for Kevin Black. Black to Brian Ellerby, top of the circle for Brunson. Inside for Roy Henson, spins in the lane, short jumper is short, rebounded loose and a whistle and a foul. I believe Roy Henson will get his fourth and he does. Here comes Chris Niebelheim. Scarlet Knights chance is looking very dim at this point. And that is the worst possible thing you could hope for for the Scarlet Knights. Just 58 seconds into this second half and Roy Henson has picked up foul number four. Very upset with himself. Johnny Collins into the forecourt for USL. Bounce pass it goes for Graylin Warner. Back out top for Collins. Collins now gives back for Warner left side. Cross court for Al Mons. Drives on Tillman. Stops gives out top of the circle for Collins. Collins foul line dishes off Warner. Short jumper is no good. Rebound by Gay is knocked out to Warner who sets it out back out top for Johnny Collins. Collins top of the circle. Right hand dribble, bounce pass for George Almonds. Cross court for Warner, down low for Gay. Off the Niebuhr line, he lays it up, no good. Rebound, Tillman. Clarence gives off for Rich Brunson, quickly into the forecourt for the Scarlet Knights. Brunson to Tillman at the foul line. Jumper, good. Clarence Tillman pulls the Knights to within four, 33-29, 18-13 to go in the first half. Clarence picked up his fourth rebound of the game right there. He leads the Scarlet Knights, and I believe that Clarence Tillman is gonna have to lead the Scarlet Knights tonight. Into the forecourt, Johnny Collins guarded by Brunson, and a whistle underneath and a foul is gonna be called on George Almonds. And for him, that is personal foul number three, I believe. Nope, check that, number one. I was close, and this, so that is the first personal on USL in the second half. Knights now down by four. They can cut it to two, and I say Clarence Tillman's going to be the key tonight. Chance to see what the Knights are made of without Roy Hinton in the ball game. Inside for Nieberlein, gives it off for Tillman. Bounce pass for Black, down low, spins, lays it up, no good, but a foul is called on Graylin Warner. And Kevin Black will be going to the line. He's going to have to hit these foul shots. First personal foul on Warner, and Black is just one for four from the line so far today. So 
Kevin Black has a chance now to redeem himself a bit, and he will go to the line. Shoot came in the game shooting 75%. That drops to about 74 now. Black's first foul shot is good. Kevin's been having this problem since the second half of the Temple game. Knights seem to be coming together with Roy Hinson on the bench right now. You see fire in a lot of players' eyes, and Clarence Tillman is ready. Second foul shot by Black is good. Looked like Tillman went in a little early, but no whistle. Knights have cut the lead to two, 33-31, Raging Cajuns lead. Into the four court, Johnny Collins guarded by Brunson. Knights in a man-to-man -man defense. Collins drives the lane, pulls up for the jumper. No good, rebound Black ahead of the field for Brunson. He's gonna lay it up off the glass and in, and we are tied at 33. Rich Brunson has his first two of the game. 17 and a half minutes to go, tie game 33 all. Johnny Collins into the four court for the Raging Cajuns, guarded by Brunson at the foul line. Dishes it off for Draylen Warner, a whistle and a foul is going to be called on Draylen Warner. No, check that, Deion Brown pushing off, and everything's going the Knights' way right now. Third personal on Brown, 17-18 to go, the Knights can take the lead. And the Scarlet Knights have tied the game, and now USL is unglued. So USL calls a timeout right here, and we are going to take this timeout for a message from the NCAA, you are listening to the NCAA Tournament, Scarlet Knight Basketball 1983. And just when you think the Scarlet Knights have the opportunity to fold, they come together right here with Clarence, uh, Clarence Tillman hitting a couple of shots. Roy Hinson on the bench. We are tied. USL has yet to score here in the second half. 33 all. 17-15 to go. Brunson into the forecourt. Give it off in the corner for Kevin Black. Right baseline. Out top for Ellerby. Brian Ellerby. Cross court. Top of the circle. Tillman. Inside, now gives in the left corner for Ellerby. Cross court for Rich Brunson. He'll set it up. Knights very patient on offense. And the Raging Cajuns in a 2-3 zone defense. Left corner, black. Top of the circle, Brian Ellerby. Ellerby swings it for Brunson. Brunson now top of the circle, Brian Ellerby. He'll set it up for the Knights. Almost threw it away. Saved by Brunson. Ellerby out top. Give off for Brunson. Knights very patient. Black in the left baseline. Back out top for Ellerby. Top of the circle, Brunson. Give it off for Clarence Tillman. Down low, Black spins and a foul. A blocking foul is going to be called on Dan Gay, his third personal foul. And Scarlet Knights getting every conceivable break right here in the second half. Who would think that with Roy Hinson on the bench that they would make a run? And the Scarlet Knights are taking it down low even without Roy Hinson in there. They picked up four quick fouls on the Raging Cajuns who only had five as a team in the first half. Inbound from Brunson is the Niebuhr line at the left baseline. Give it out top for Brian Ellerby. He'll set things up for the Scarlet Knights. Ellerby, corner for Kevin Black. Top of the circle for Tillman. Off for Brunson. Almost stolen away and now gotten back by Tillman. Down low for Black. He lays it up and a whistle. And the ball is stuck around the basket, but Kevin Black will be going to the line for some foul shots. Second personal on Graylin Warner. And both of them coming in this half as Kevin Black will go to the line. He missed that shot. The ball got stuck in between the rim and the backboard. And he will now try and continue his hot foul shooting. He has two foul shots coming up right here. Three for six on the day. Hits the first one now. Three in a row for Kevin Black. Knights have the lead 34-33. First lead since of the ball game for the Scarlet Knights. They were tied early at six. Good for Kevin Black. The second foul shot and the Knights lead by two. USL has yet to score almost four minutes into the second half. Collins into the forecourt, guarded by Brunson. Good man-to-man -man defense by the Knights. Dan Gay foul line, give it out top for Deion Brown. Off for Johnny Collins. USL coming a little bit unglued here in the second half. Al Mons down low, Brown knocked away by Niederlein and taken by Clarence Tillman. Off for Brunson, quickly into the forecourt for the Scarlet Knights. Brunson, foul line. Give off cross court for Ellerby. Ryan has ideas now, sets it back up. Patient offense for the Scarlet Knights. They don't want to make a mistake. Kevin Black, left baseline. Cross court, it goes for Brian Ellerby now on the right baseline. Out top for Clarence Tillman. Rich Brunson went out, set things up. Still in his own defense for the Raging Cajuns. Bounce pass in the corner for Kevin Black. Back out for Ellerby. Brunson top of the circle. Ellerby left side. Looking inside, sees nothing. Brings it out with a right hand dribble, giving the corner for Kevin Black. Black top of the circle, Ellerby. Ryan Ellerby for Clarence Tillman, right side. In the lane, Black lays it up short. Rebound is loose, taken by Black. Now stripped away and taken by Collins for USL. Quickly into the forecourt, but he'll slow things down as the Knights are back on defense. Out top it goes now for Al Moans on the left side. Al Moans top of the circle, give off Johnny Collins a whistle. And we're going to have a timeout as Chris Nieberlein got banged underneath. 
official blows the whistle. Chris Remley comes in for Tillman, who's been quiet after he started off very quickly in the second half. And I don't know why they stopped the clock. Looks like Nieberlein banged knees down there with Dion Brown. Referee just wanted to make sure they were both all right. Inbound pass goes out top for Johnny Collins. Collins, right hand dribble. Now switches hands, left hand dribble. Foul line for Dion Brown. Brown back out top for Collins. USL still looking to score for the first time over five minutes into the second half. Al Moans, foul line, guarded by Ellerby. Give it off on the right side for Graylin Warner, a whistle, and we're going to have a foul underneath on, I believe, Chris Remley. And if it is on Chris, it will be. That will only be his first, so no real harm right there. Second team foul for the Scarlet Knights. Six already for USL. The Scarlet Knights will be going to the line one and one, exactly the opposite of what happened to them in the first half. Out top, Johnny Collins. Bounce pass for Al Mons, guarded by Remley. Cross court, it goes for Warner. Long jumper is good. First basket of the second half for the Cajuns. They are tied at 35. Brunson into the forecourt. USL stays in his own defense. Remley out top. Remley, who is in the ball game for Tillman. Black now in the right baseline. Give out top for Brian Ellaby. Top of the circle for Rich Brunson. Swing it left side for Remley. Knocked away, get it back. Give in the corner for Kevin Black. Out top, left side for Brunson. Top of the circle, Ellerby. Rumley right side. Back out top for Ellerby. Brian gives top of the circle for Nieberlein now at the foul line. Give off for Remley. Knight's very patient. Swing across court. Remley's got an open 18-footer, and he hits it. 37-35. Knights lead by two. Just under 14 minutes to go. Six points for Chris Remley. Into the forecourt, Johnny Collins. Guarded by Brunson. Knight's good man-to-man -man defense. Braylon Warner guarded by Remley. Almost has it knocked away, taken by Deion Brown, guarded by Black. Down low, open shot for Warner, and he hits it as he got away from Chris Remley. And right there, Brown just, uh, Brown just shoveled it inside as Warner showed his quickness. Brunson in the corner for Ellerby. Knights very patient on offense, playing right the way they want to right now with Roy Hinson on the bench with four fouls. Ellerby out top, 13 and a half minutes to go in the ballgame. We're tied at 37. Brian Ellerby, top of the circle for Rich Brunson. Swing it for Chris Remley on the right side. Back out for Brunson. Knights patiently attacking that zone defense. Ellerby, right side, top of the circle for Brunson. Drives to the foul line, give it off Remley, a whistle. And we're going to have a foul, I believe, we'll see what's called, a traveling Brunson violation on Battle. Rich Brunson. And Battle comes in to replace Rich Brunson. Five turnovers for the Scarlet Knights. And as Battle comes in, Rich, of course, has to take a rest. He's never going to be full strength after that long operation. But Battle, also a good outside threat. Collins gives off for Al Mones. Back for Collins, swing in the left corner for Warner. Warner, top of the circle, Al Mones. Open jumper, long. Rebound is loose, taken by Warner. Give it back out top for Collins, and USL sets up again. Knights back into his own defense. 1-2-2 one, two, two zone for the Scarlet Knights. Al Mones, bounce pass for Collins. He just rarely looks to shoot, much like Rich Brunson doesn't look to shoot often for the Knights. In the corner, it goes Warner. Out top, it goes Al Mones. Down low, Brown banks it up and in. Good backdoor play for USL. They have the lead again, 39-37. Ten points now for Brown. They just drew the Scarlet Knights out on them on the perimeter, and they went back door. And that's something that has hurt the Knights consistently over the years. Ellerby setting up now. Gives it out top for Battle. Top of the circle, Ellerby. Brian, left side for Remley. Bounce pass for Kevin Black. Knights not looking to go inside as much as they were before. Top of the circle, Battle. Swing it for Remley. Chris, bounce pass for Johnny. Battle, 12-12 to go in the ballgame. Battle in the lane, short jump. He hits it. And we are tied at 39. Six points for John Battle. And we're going back and forth, just jump shot after jump shot. Both teams putting the ball up quickly. Collins, top of the circle for Al Mons. Knight still in that 1-2-2 two, two zone defense. Give it off in the corner. Warner, open jumper is no good. Rebound, John Battle. He quickly brings it into the forecourt for the Knights. Two on two, and it's stolen away by Warner. And Great. John... John right there threw the ball right into the hands of Warner on the break. They had the two-on-one break, but Warner cut right inside. Johnny Collins in the corner for Graylin Warner to Collins on the left side. Switching hands on the dribble, top of the circle for Al Mones. Swings it for Warner on the right baseline. Al Mones drives the lane, pulls up for the short jump, banks it up, no good. Rebound is loose, taken away by Deion Brown. Brown outside, it goes for Collins. Knights looking to set up, given in the corner, Warner. Bounce pass for Brown, he traveled with the ball. And it will be another turnover for USL. Oh, and Chris Nieblein heard the whistle right next to him. That's his seventh turnover. And he heard the whistle right next to him. And he was like, not me. And it's a good thing, as they called the travel, Chris breathed a heavy sigh of relief. We heard that all the way up here. 
Brian Ellerby checks out. Rich Brunson back in. It's Brunson and Battle in the backcourt with Remley, Nieberlein, and Black up front. Roy Hinson on the bench with four personal fouls. He's been out since 1902 with a second half. Battle left side. Knights setting up, spreading out their offense. They are definitely going to make this a low scoring game with Roy Hinson on the bench. Out top it goes for Battle. Give it off for Remley. Chris bounce pass in the corner for, John, for Kevin Black. Top of the circle, Rich Brunson. Inside it goes Nieberlein. Give it to Remley. Corner jumper is long. Rebound is loose. And John Battle gets to it first. We're going to have a foul called on either Collins or Battle. It's going to be Johnny Collins. And for him, that is personal foul number two. USL foul number 15, Johnny. So another and team second. foul for USL. That Six. will be their sixth with 10.43 remaining in the half. So every foul from here on in is one and one for the Scarlet Knights. And the Knights may be going a lot to the foul line. They're going to have to hit their foul shots. Black out top for Brunson. We are tied at 39. John Battle top of the circle. Give it off for Brunson. Rich cross court for Remley. Chris gives out top for John Battle. Battle holds overhead, gives out top for Rich Brunson. Off for Chris Remley, right side. Brunson now right of the circle. Right hand dribble, give off for Kevin Black. Back out top for Brunson. Knight just standing around, working the ball around. Remley in the corner. Out top for Battle. 10, 10 to go in this game. 39 all right now, Scarlet Knights. Very little scoring in the second half with Hinson on the bench. Battle drives a lane, pulls up. Jumper is long. Rebound is taken by Warner. Braylon Warner pulls down the rebound. USL can take the lead. Just under 10 minutes to go in the game. Johnny Collins, right-hand dribble. Brings the ball into the forecourt. Knight still in that zone defense. Swing it off for Warner. Short jumper is no good. Rebound taken by Black. Stripped, from way, stripped away, driving the lane. Bounce pass is no good. Ball is loose, and it's taken by USL. We're going to have a foul over the back on Rich Brunson. And right there, it might have been good that Rich fouled him because that stopped the play as they could have had a, a pretty good break there right underneath on their side of the court. First personal on Rich for the timeout on the floor. Graylin Warner will inbound side court for USL. Out top for Johnny Collins. His five have been in there the whole way for the Raging Cajuns. They might be getting a bit tired. Give out top for Warner. Swing it for Collins. Attacking his own defense. Corner Al Moans. Down low Gay. Triple teamed. And spitting in the lane. And we're going to have a foul on Chris Nieberlein. And that is a call. It looked more like a travel from up here. Only his second personal. That will be the fourth team foul for the Scarlet Knights. And USL will just inbound on, on the baseline. Scarlet Knights packing in that zone defense underneath their own basket. The inbound will come from George Almones for USL. He gets it out top for Warner. Top of the circle, Collins. Collins, corner for Almones over Remley. Now gives it back out top for Johnny Collins. Collins back for Almones in the corner. Guarded by Nieberlein. Cross court for Warner. Johnny Collins left of the foul line. Jumper for Warner is around the rim. No good. Rebound is loose and taken by Kevin Black. Scarlet Knights come up with a rebound, and they will slowly bring the ball into the forecourt. Rich Brunson leading the attack. 9.06 to go. Tied at 39. Brunson bounce pass in the corner for Black. Rich Brunson top of the circle. John Battle give it off for Brunson right side. Rich top of the circle. Johnny Battle outside the NBA three-point line. Battle holding the ball over his head, gives to Brunson, top of the circle, swing it for Remley, looking inside, sees nothing, back off for Rich Brunson. Brunson right of the circle for Kevin Black. Black for Brunson, who drives the lane, now bounce pass for John Battle, nothing inside, gives in the corner for Remley. Remley brings it back out, Knights will set up. Battle for Brunson, top of the circle, back for Johnny Battle, left of the foul line. Battle brings it back out, Scarlet Knights, very patient on offense, eight and a half minutes to go. 1-3-1 one, one defense from the Raging Cajuns. Brunson, corner for Remley. Back out top for Brunson. Battle now, almost threw it away. Loses it in the lane, pulls up for a short jumper, and he hits it. Johnny Battle, he has eight in the ball game. Scarlet Knights lead by two, 41-39. That's exactly what the Scarlet Knights wanted to do. Collins in the corner for Al Mullins. Back out top for Collins. Switching hands on the dribble, bounce pass for Warner. In the corner for Al Mullins. Back out top for Collins. USL definitely out of their offense right now. Warner almost lost it. Gets it for Collins. Short jumper. No good. Rebound. Kevin Black and a foul. It's going to be on George Almones reaching over the back of Kevin Black. He'll have some one and one free throws. Second personal on Almones. Black now with three rebounds in the second half. Only had one in the first half. So he's got four on the game. And I believe that as long as Rutgers has the lead, Roy Hinton will stay on the bench until about the four or five minute mark. If for some reason the Knights fall behind any time, Roy Hinton would then come right back into the game. Kevin Black at the free throw line. His foul shot is around the rim. No good. 
and the rebound is taken by USL. Johnny Collins will bring it up. They're down by two with 7.44 to go in the game. 41-39 Rutgers in the corner for Warner. Now Al Mullins left at the foul line. Give it off in the corner for Warner. Down low for Brown. Spins, lays it up. No good. Rebound, Chris Remley. Hands it off to Ellerby, who's in the game for Brunson. He'll bring it into the forecourt. Knights have Ellerby in battle in the backcourt. Nieberlein, Black, and Remley up front. Ellerby left of the circle. Give out top for Battle. John Battle now holds overhead, gives it off on the right side for Ellerby. Down low, Nieberlein on the baseline. Now swing across court for John Battle. Had ideas about shooting, now pulls it back out. He'll slow things down for the Scarlet Knights. They're very patient right now. Cross court, it goes for Brian Ellerby. Ellerby looked inside, gives a cross court for Battle. Got an open 15-footer. Fakes puts it up. No good, not even close. Rebound USL. Collins quickly into the forecourt. Three on three break. He'll slow things down now at the top of the circle. Scarlet Knights a little bit disorganized on defense. Now get into the one 2 2 Jump shot is nowhere near the basket. Ball is loose, and we have a jump ball. Now we're going to have a foul on Chris Nieberlein. A little bit late on the call right there. And on the rebound, I guess you can give it to Warner, who came down with it. And Nieberlein fouled him on the paint, on the floor. And Remley sits down, and Clarence Tillman is back in the game. Foul for Nieberlein is his third personal foul, so he now joins Clarence Tillman with three. Al Mones will inbound for USL, and he gets it high out top for Collins, who loses the handle. It'll be a backcourt violation, and the Scarlet Knights get the ball on the turnover. Right now, if I were Tom Young, let's go to the five game. Might be a little bit early to go to think about stalling the game away, but we'll have to wait and see what the Scarlet Knights do. They've been very patient all game long. They're not going to take a shot unless it's a good one right here. That last one by Battle was a big rush, and I'm sure that won't happen this time down the floor. Nieberlein loses the handle, gets it back, and hands off for Ellerby. Six and a half minutes to go. Knights lead 41-39. Ellerby out top for Battle, top of the circle. Overhead gives off for Clarence Tillman. Bounce pass on the right baseline for Black. Give it off for Johnny Battle. Cross court for Ellerby. Drives the lane. Now stops in the corner for Tillman. 15-foot jumper. It's good. Clarence Tillman puts the Knights up by four. Their biggest lead of the game. Eight for Clarence. They lead 43-39. Collins off for Al Mones. 1-2-2 zone for the Scarlet Knights. Collins and now USL wants a timeout. With 6.02 to play in the, in the ball game. The score, Rutgers 43, USL 39. You're listening to the NCAA Eastern Regionals Rutgers Scarlet Knight Basketball. So the Knights will have Brunson and Battle in the backcourt with Tillman, Black, and Eberline up front. George Almonds will inbound side court for USL. They have scored just six points in this second half so far. Collins bounce pass for Warner. Give off for Collins. Good zone defense for the Knights now. 2-3 zone. In the corner it goes for Warner. Out top Collins. Bounce pass inside Gray. Tied up by Eberline, but he banks it in. 43-41, pressure in the backcourt from USL. Brunson quickly into the forecourt. And the Raging Cajuns have gone man to man right now on defense for the first time today. Black outside, they're gonna make the Scarlet Knights take a shot, Nieberlein foul line, give it off for Tillman. Drives, pulls up for the short shot, but he's fouled. And Clarence will go to the line. I believe that foul is gonna be on Braylon, Braylon Warner, his third personal. And Roy Hinson checks back into the game for Chris Nieberlein, you hear it from the crowd. Not only for Chris's play, but also because they want Roy Hinson. 5.31 remaining, and Roy's got to stay out of trouble. But on the other hand, he cannot be too passive on the boards. He's got to go out there and not worry about fouling out of this game. Right now, Clarence Tillman at the line averages 76% from the line. Can give the Knights an extended lead. They lead by two. It's 43-41. His foul shot is good. 44-41, Knights lead, 5.31 to play. Clarence Tillman with nine points tonight. Reminder again, tomorrow, 12.55, Scarlet Knight lacrosse action against CW Post from Rutgers Stadium. Tillman's second foul shot is also good. Knights by four, 45-41. Roy Hinson back in the ball game after sitting out close to 15 minutes with four personal fouls. Collins, bounce pass for Al Mones, cross court for Warner. See if they work it inside against Roy, try and pick up number five. Collins, top of the circle, give off in the corner for Al Mones. Long jumper is no good. Rebound, Clarence Tillman loses it, gets it back. Clarence with his fifth rebound of the game. Into the fourth court for the Scarlet Knights, Brian Ellerby. See if the Scarlet Knights slow it down. Man-to-man -man defense from USL. Black, top of the circle. Tillman in the corner, drives, holds up, gives out top for Brunson at the foul line. Rich brings the ball back out, guarded in the man-to-man -man by Collins, off for Ellerby. Brian Ellerby, top of the circle, drives, bounce pass for Brunson, drives baseline, Rich pulls up for a five-footer, and he hits it! 
Scarlet Knights with their biggest lead of the game, 47-41, 4.42 to play. Four points for Rich Brunson. Collins for Al Mons. The crowd has come alive. Stolen away by Rich Brunson. Brunson ahead of the field. Pulls up for the layup. And it's around the rim. No good but a whistle. No, tapped in by Brian Ellaby. No whistle. Good follow-up by Brian. Knights by eight. 49-41 Rutgers. Raging Cajuns into the forecourt. Collins in the corner for Warner. And they call timeout. With 4.16 to go, the Knights have the biggest lead of the game at eight points. You hear the crowd, it's all Rutgers now. Scarlet Knights are pulling away in this ball game, up by eight, and they've got to go to the five game. They did it against St. Joe's, they've done it pretty successfully all season long. Knights have proven this year that they can hold the basketball, and you don't want to give the Cajuns a chance to run. I have to probably agree with you right there, but you don't want to let the, the uh, you don't want to let the momentum turn away from you. Right now, the Knights have this crowd on their side. They can play basically the game they've been playing almost all the whole second half. Wait for a really good shot. Basically, they've been playing sort of that five game the whole second half. They haven't been running the ball at all with Roy Hinson out of there. It'll be interesting to see if they put Chris Lieberlein back in or if they leave Roy Hinson on the floor. You don't want to risk Roy picking up the foul, but you got to remember what a defensive intimidator he is down on the defensive end. I think Roy will stay in. Also, it's going to be very tough for us to choose a player of the game for the Scarlet Knights as Rich Brunson has keyed this last comeback for the Scarlet Knights. Has not played all that well all night long, played steadily. And Rich just with that steal and also with that good move on the baseline last time down has done a very good job. And on that last play, Rich Brunson missed the layup, but both USL players ran out of bounds. Ellerby was there to tap it in. USL inbounds. Johnny Collins out top of the circle, left hand dribble, give it off in the corner for Warner, back out top Collins. USL has scored just eight points in the second half, looking for somebody to take over the offense. Collins, out top it goes for Almonds, the freshman, gives it off in the corner for Galen Warner. Warner, back to Almonds at the foul line, back in the corner, Warner, long jumper is blocked partially by Henson, almost picked up a foul, dangerous play by Roy. And Rich Brunson will slowly bring it into the forecourt. Knights with an eight-point lead, 3.44 to go. Brunson guarded by Collins. Left-hand dribble, bounce pass in the corner for Clarence Tillman. Out top it goes Ellaby. Knights, very patient right here. Give it off for Kevin Black. Give it out for Rich Brunson. Man-to-man -man defense from the Raging Cajuns. Out top it goes Kevin Black for Clarence Tillman, left side. Clarence out top for Ellerby. Ryan gives it off for Rich Brunson. Brunson. Back for Brian Ellaby, almost stolen away by Al Mones. Ellaby now for Kevin Black, top of the three-point line, 3.15 to go in the ball game. Kevin, between the legs, dribble, left hand, almost loses it, and they're going to call a double dribble on Kevin Black, and that was very close. And Kevin lost the handle. Turnover for the Scarlet Knights. Uh, this game is not over, of course, and Southwestern Louisiana can cut this lead now to six points. You're listening to WRSU FM in New Brunswick, the Eastern Regionals. Three minutes exactly now to go in the ball game. USL needs a basket here. They have just eight points in the second half. Collins drives on Tillman, pulls up now, has can't get a shot off. Good defense by Black. Almonds cross court for Warner. Warner now, Al, Almonds foul line jumper around the rim and out. Ball is loose, taken by Brown. Brown foul line, drives the lane. Guy gives off in the corner for Warner. Good defense from the Scarlet Knights. Al Mohn swings it across for Collins. Drives on Tillman. Pulls up. Short jump. No good. Rebound. Brown knocked out of bounds by Brian Ellaby. Might have got off the foot of Brown, but they're going to give it the ball to the Raging Cajuns. And now we have some substitutions for the Raging Cajuns. Allen comes back in. Only saw two minutes in the first half. Also coming in for the Raging Cajuns will be... Roy McGrew, a 6'4 guard for some ball handling. Have to wonder about this here. You leave the guys on the bench for 38 minutes, bring them in with two and a half to go. In the corner, it's McGrew to Almond, swing it across for Alonzo Allen. In the corner for McGrew, long jumper is an air ball taken by Brian Ellaby. And Ellaby almost fouled on the backboard, will bring it up himself against the pressure, get it into the forecourt. 2.16 to go. Brian Ellerby, right hand dribble, this crowd is on its feet, and Tom Young wants a timeout with 2.12 to go, and now I definitely think they're going to go for the all-out stall this last 2.12 of the game. Tom Young's not hiding it. He called timeout just to get his team into the huddle and put the glue on their hands so that they will hold on to that basketball and not put it in the hoop. 2.12 remaining, eight-point lead. 
Squala Knights fans now calling for St. John's. Maybe a little premature, though. And Tom Young is put Chris Lieberlein in the ball game, replacing Clarence Tillman. So the Knights will have Brunson and Ellerby in the backcourt with Hinson, Black, and Nieberlein up front. The Raging Cajuns leave Alonza Allen in the ball game, but Graylin Warner is back in, replacing McGrew. Lieberlein will inbound, and he gets it into Roy Hinson in the backcourt. Hands off for Rich Brunson, who'll bring it into the forecourt for the Knights. Rich, breaking the press himself, gets it into the forecourt. He's guarded by, uh, by George Almones. Ellerby, double team, gets it off for Black. Give it out for Roy Hinson, top of the circle. Bounce pass for Nieberlein, back out top for Black. 155 to go. Rich Brunson, bounce pass for Brian Ellerby. Be interesting to see when USL starts the foul. Brunson outside, and he is fouled by George Almones. Not an intentional foul. It'll be one and one, the third personal on Almones. And he's the man at the foul, Rich Brunson. Although, yes, they will go to the line. And Rich on the season, the worst foul shooter for the Scarlet Knights, 74%. And uh, I guess Roy would be uh, a better bet to foul. Also, Battle, who's not in the game. But Rich consistently over the years has not been a great foul shooter. But Rich Brunson is the kind of player, the senior, who hits these shots down the stretch for you. He's done it before late in the game. He has his first one, and he hits it. Rich Brunson gives the Scarlet Knights their biggest lead of the game, 50-41. to 41. They lead by nine. Five points for Brunson. Mr. Clutch down the stretch here. Rich can give the Knights a 10-point lead, 147 to go. And a whistle. We're going to see what they're going to call. Might be a violation. I think Roy Hinson moved out of the blocks after Brunson got the ball. So the Scarlet Knights will not get another shot. Reminder, win, lose, or draw. Nightline will follow 932-8800 with all your questions and comments. Ray Cella back there in New Brunswick waiting for your calls. Bounce pass in the corner for Alonza Allen. USL has to get a shot off, and they're going to call a kick on Rich Brunson. Just 137 to go. USL still being patient. Scarlet Knights in control right now. They lead by nine. Great second half. They've held the Raging Cajuns to eight points. Inside it goes for... A uh, jumper from Graylin Warner, who cuts the lead to 7, 50 to 43. Brunson in the backcourt, hounded by Allen, gets it ahead and into the forecourt for Kevin Black. Black, double team, has to get rid of it, gets it out top for Ellerby. Ellerby, and a reach in foul is going to be called on George Almones, his fourth personal, and Brian will go to the foul line. Brian is not the man you want to foul. 80% free throw shooter from the line, and he has hit a lot of foul shots in clutch situations before. They have to go after the man who is not the better foul shooter in this situation, Bobby Pascal, not having a chance to scout the Knights enough. Brian Ellaby hits the first one, 51-43. From a fan standpoint, sitting in the, in the crowd, this has not been a great game to watch, but the Scarlet Knights, with Roy Hinson picking up his fourth foul with 19 minutes to go, have done what they had to do. Ellerby hits the second. Knights back on top by nine, 52-43, 1.17 to go. Al Mons quickly into the forecourt, bounce pass for Allen, drives on hits and spins, knocked away by Black, picked up by Al Mons. Al Mons at the foul line, 1.08 to go, gets it off in the corner now for Warner. Long jumper is good. Make that Alonza Allen from nowhere. Couldn't get the timeout called in time, and Brunson brings it into the forecourt. Rich drives, he's going to have a layup, and it's good, and a foul. Rich Brunson, and he is hurt. He fell right into the, the podium that holds up the basket. And the basket counts in a foul, an incredible shot by Rich Brunson. And more importantly, let's see how Rich is doing down on the floor. I think he probably just got the wind knocked out of him as Abe Sivis and Team Doctor, both Team Doctors out on the floor, Kopelman and Fertig. And Rich right there saw the opening and just went right for the basket, went up in the air. It was a foul, and somehow the shot went in, and Rich Brunson fell right into that thing that holds up the basket in the back. Luckily, it's padded. It's exactly the same kind that is at the Rutgers Athletic Center. So you'll know what it is. And Rich just hit the base of it. Might have hurt his knee up against there as they're checking out his right leg right now. In any event, he's given the Knights a nine-point lead and will go to the foul line with a chance to make it 10. And if he hits this foul shot, might just wrap it up for the Knights. And Rich now sitting up. Looks like the top of his leg is thigh, maybe. Maybe his knee hit it. Uh, Seems to be all right. He's stretching out now. He'll probably be able to take his shot. George Almones over there right now, checking out on Brunson. Nothing intentional right there. Roy McGrew also over as he is back in the ball game for USL. Rich okay, and he's going to stay in the ball game. Just a little bit shaken up. Clarence Tillman back in for the Knights. He's going to replace Brunson. They're going to take him out. So Clarence will take these foul shots. 
And here is where Al McGuire says, let the other coach pick the sub. Pick the man off the bench to shoot the foul shot. Other than one of your better foul shooters, as Clarence is the man Tom Young picks, I'm sure Bobby Pascal would not have chosen Clarence and Tillman. And you have to wonder, is Clarence Tillman not a guard? And so he definitely would not have been the sub for Rich Brunson. But Clarence in the ball game, he has... They're going to give him, it looks like, two shots. The referee has two out there, and he misses the first. They counted the basket and still gave him two shots. They must have called it an intentional foul after the basket. So Clarence misses the first, has one more coming, can give the Knights a 10-point lead. And Rich Brunson on the sidelines, ready to come back in. Clarence's foul shot is good. Knights lead by 10, their biggest lead of the game. Brunson cannot get back in. And into the forecourt comes Al Mullins. Give it off in the corner for Al for McGrew, down low for Warner, tapped away, taken by Tillman. Clarence has it knocked away. Ellaby picks up a foul in the backcourt on Alonza Allen, and Brian Ellaby will go to the line, and things look good for the Scarlet Knights right here with 43 seconds left. I guess that sort of worked to the Knights' advantage as Tillman got that rebound, and he goes out, Rich comes back in. They had Black out at the guard spot. Really not much ball handling out there, and now with Brunson and Ellaby and Black out there, you have three men who can handle the ball. And going to the line, Brian Ellerby, 80% free throw shooter on the year. And this crowd is going home. Well, the Rutgers fans aren't leaving. They're all still here. Everybody else, the impartial people, are leaving. And for USL, Calvin Peoples is in. Brian Ellerby hits his first foul shot, 11-point lead. It looks pretty safe to say now that the Scarlet Knights will be in action Sunday afternoon against the number one seed in the East, the top sec third-ranked St. John's Redmen. Ellerby misses the second rebound by Brown. Quickly into the forecourt. They're going to bring it up. This is Calvin Peoples in the corner from McGrew. Long jumper, and he hits it. And USL calls time. They're not about to give up right here. This is their season in the balance. 56-47. Scarlet Knights lead by nine. And USL has two timeouts left. Scarlet Knights four at this juncture of the game. Can't write any of these games off as we've seen so many comebacks in this tournament this year. Saw a few last night, I believe three. In years past, we've seen so many phenomenal shots to end games, and even this year against the Scarlet Knights, we've seen a lot of things happen for and against the Scarlet Knights. College basketball, you just can't tell at this time of a game. Scarlet Knights, though, pretty much hold their fate in their own hands. And you can see right here who the Rutgers fans are and who they aren't. Most of this Hartford Civic Center is on their way out, but the Rutgers contingent behind the bench is there chanting, we want St. John's, and it looks like they will get St. John's Sunday afternoon here at the Hartford Civic Center. And starting tomorrow at 12.55, we will have Rutgers lacrosse action. First game of the season, one of many. CW Post comes in, team looking for revenge from the basketball season. Good game at Rutgers Stadium, and it should be a good one. Ray Chella, Jeff Krause, and Steve Sherris will bring that to you as Steve and Jeff are and Lou Karnaseka is on his way out, waving to the Rutgers fans right now. And the Rutgers fans chanting Louie. And back to the action right now on the floor for the Scarlet Knights. They will inbound in their backcourt. It'll be Chris Nieberlein against the pressure. And he gets it in for Kevin Black in the backcourt. Black throws the ball away. And it will be USL basketball with 32 seconds left. Scarlet Knights lead by nine. Tough turnover there for the Scarlet Knights, but... USL has got a lot of scoring to do. Roy McGrew to inbounds. He gets it in for Alonza Allen. Down low for Warner, who misses it. It's tapped around and finally put in by Deion Brown. And another timeout from Deion the Raging Brown. Cajuns. 25 and, uh, seconds USL. left. Knight's lead is cut to seven. And Chris Nieberlein will inbounds. Full court pressure from the Raging Cajuns. Nieberlein has to get it in, and he does to Brian Ellaby. And the ball is, they're going to call an offensive foul on Ellaby. Good acting job right there by Calvin Peoples. You have to give Ellaby a step. He didn't. It'll be USL ball with a chance to cut it to five. No time elapsed on the clock. And no timeouts, I believe, for USL. Maybe one. I'm not positive. They took that off the scoreboard. McGrew to inbound. He gets it into Allen. Good pressure defense. He throws up a prayer shot, and he hits it. No timeouts left. They're going to have to inbound. It comes into Ellaby, who almost loses it. Back to Roy Hinson. Ahead for, for Ellaby. Quickly ahead of the field. Brian's going to have a layup, and he hits it. Knights lead, 58-51. Nine seconds to go. And this one looks like it's going to be a night victory. Allen all the way. He slams it home. Four seconds left. The clock will expire. Brunson, the Neva line, 2-1. And that's the ball game. The Scarlet Knights have defeated the Raging Cajuns of southwestern Louisiana, 58-53 here at the Hartford Civic Center, await the St. John's Redmond on Sunday, and we will be back 
With a recap of today's game after this, you are listening to the Eastern Regionals Scarlet Knight Basketball 1983.